Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. Just kind of like a transformation vid. I feel like doing my makeup, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm also going to be filming a little bit different of a video, so stick around for that one. I literally tried out a fat loss solution or like skin tightener for a week. So I'm kind of doing my makeup to film that video. Yeah, anyway, if you like these types of videos, like makeup wise, I'm also going to try out some new products. New to me that is definitely not new on the market. I'm not like somebody that's up to date with any like makeup launches or anything. Give this video a thumbs up, all the good stuff. Thanks so much for watching. Let's get right into it. So first things first, I'm going to go in with some toner. This is from e.l.f. This is their Keep Your Balance toner. I just picked this one up today or not today, but literally like a couple days ago. So I always like to make sure I go in with a clean face. I also did just wash my hands, so I would highly recommend that you do that. So next up, I'm going to go in with a moisturizer. This one I really do like. I just found it again. I used to use this all the time in the summer but this is the vanity planet renew multi-perfection moisturizer so i really like this one it almost has like a watery consistency like it feels super hydrating like it just sinks into the skin i love that i think it looks i don't know i mean you can't really see anything obviously but i just feel very refreshed after this well, moving on to primer i'm going to be taking my ula henriksen banana bright primer mine like boob is literally about to fall out i've been using this one for a while i go back and forth between this one and the no pore blem primer from Touch and Soul. I really like that one. Uh, I think I'm running out. I would love to get my hands on more. I'm just focusing my primer on my T-zone, which is where I have like the most pores that you can actually see. I do have like a drier to combination skin, so I don't have that many pores visible. So I'm actually going to start off with my forehead. So like I said, I'm going to start off with my forehead because I'm going to do my brows first. So I'm going to start off with a pretty dark foundation for my skin tone at least. My forehead is always a little bit darker than the rest of my face. I have been outside quite frequently. But this one is probably a shade or two just too dark for my forehead in general But once I put my concealer on we should be fine. Honestly, it's not that bad I'm using a morphe y6. I think it's now the m6. I love this brush I just think it like gets the job done. <laughs> yeah, this is actually a good color Oh, and I took the Maybelline Superstay foundation in 220 natural beige. That was the color I went in I think it's a really nice color like I said for my forehead, but it's definitely way too dark for the rest of my face Well, I'm actually trying to match my neck and my neck is super pale so yeah we'll be going in with a different foundation so like i said oh my god like i said i'm doing my brows so right before i do my brows i'm just gonna conceal because at that point it's gonna be a little bit harder once my brows are done and i'm taking my Too faced born this yeah Too faced born this way concealer in swan this one is very light so we're just gonna go in and blend that one out i like to keep it pretty low i do have a very large forehead so off camera i'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows i'm using the elf eye eyebrow kit and then I will let you guys know anything else that I use. <laughs> okay, so I just did my brows. Like I said, I used the e.l.f. eyebrow kit and then I went and cleaned it up with my concealer. Also set it with both of these products. I used the e.l.f. <laughs> eyebrow gel and then I used a NYX tinted brow mascara and then I slightly set it with my airspun loose finishing powder. I just want to do like a super bronzy shimmery eye. So I didn't really set my lid too much or do anything with it. I'm just going to go in with, wow, e.l.f. you need a sponsor me right now. I'm using all e.l.f. products. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. contour kit and this like second to darkest shade and I'm I think I'm honestly going to start off in the crease kind of pat that in and then I'm gonna go in with a really pretty like shimmer shade but right now I'm just kind of being pretty messy with this one. Again I'm going for a very like blown out look. I know like a shimmery lid is so like 2000s but I'm going for it. I'm taking my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea palette. I'm taking Jewel. This is like discontinued or something Thing, but I will link one very similar down below for you guys and I'm literally just patting that on I'm patting it all over my lid and then I'm kind of dragging it up a little bit to blend it Wow, I really have a lot of nose hair. I think that's really pretty I have not done like a look like this in forever I mean I never do because I don't do my makeup anymore and then I'm just gonna go back in Fuse it a second and I think we're good like super simple, but really cute at the same time Okay, so next up for foundation I'm gonna be taking this Fenty Beauty Pro filter foundation in 185. Now this, like I had said before, is a lot lighter than the forehead color. I wanted it that way. This is probably like a really good match for me once I conceal and everything. And I'm taking about two pumps. I guess I don't need that much because I'm not doing my forehead, but I'm just used to that. And again, I'm going to go in with the same brush. I love using the same brush for pretty much like everything because I feel like all the colors blend together so nicely and it just makes sense. <laughs> Focusing on the perimeter of my face 
first making sure I get all that covered up because like I don't know why but my cheeks are super red at the bottom maybe I have like hyperpigmentation or I don't know but yeah and then I'll go in with my contour and concealer for contour I'm gonna go in with a oldie but a goodie this is literally my favorite contour you guys this is a foundation from NYX this is their mineral stick foundation in caramel this is too good I love this product I'm honestly not sure if they still have this but I'm sure maybe they do they probably just like renamed it a little bit I can look for you guys that nose contour was super sloppy but whatever and then I'm gonna use a NYX stippling brush to blend this out I'm gonna start at the bottom of my face and go up now I'm gonna go in with the same concealer I've been using the entire time this one is pretty light but again I can always darken up everything with a little bit of bronzer this time I'm gonna blend everything out with a real techniques brush Okay, so while I have everything baking, I went ahead, like I said, I always do this. I set my face with my Airspun Loose Finishing Powder. I'm gonna go back in with my e.l.f. Contour Palette. I'm gonna be taking a big Real Techniques blush brush and just bronzing my face and warming it up. I feel like I have really high contrast underneath my eyes. So I'm just going to warm all that up. Going in with the same Real Techniques brush, I'm gonna go in with Sweet from the Morphe Blush Palette. And like I said, I do like to go in with the same brush just because I feel like the products blend a lot better. Like if there's already a little bit of contour color on here and I add a little bit of blush, I feel like that is really cohesive. Okay, but this concealer was just way too light to begin with. <laughs> I'm going to go under my eye with that same color I used for my lid and smoke it out a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to move on to highlight. I'm just going to take a more like champagne light color, still with a tint of like peachy orange to it. So I'm back. I added some mascara and I used the Lily Lashes mascara. It was gifted, but I love that mascara. And then I just used a really old like peach lipstick from ColourPop, like dry as hell. But anyway, we're fine. I'm just going to add some lashes. These are from, you guys know it, AliExpress. Okay, I'm done. So this is my finished look. Um, I literally just added some lashes and I took my hair down. So I think it's really cute. I never really do like a shimmery lid. Um, I probably should have worn like smaller lashes so you could actually see the shimmer lid, but I like statement lashes. So I had to do it. If you guys are curious, I am wearing a little romper from Hot Mami Styles. I think it's super cute, but it is so stinking short. This is what it looks like. It's giving me the worst frungy right now. And then I do have like lines from my chair, but this is the back. Like, it's way too tiny. Yeah, so it's really uncomfortable. This is what it looks like. And then my necklace is from AliExpress. So if you guys like today's video or makeup videos, just give today's video a thumbs up so I know to continue to make more. I really do need to get back into makeup videos. I love doing my makeup. I've just kind of lost interest. So <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are staying safe. All that good stuff in Minnesota right now. It is May 5th when I'm filming this. And I think we have two more weeks left of lockdown. It was supposed to be May 1st. We were out of here, but you know, it is what it is. Again, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.